Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smokers Pod. We are doing the long-awaited review of the new Davidoff Year of the Tiger. Let's see how this one tastes. So guys, the year of the tiger. Jesus Christ, what a wonderful cigar. Uh, we were doing an unboxing already, uh, I think two weeks ago or so, uh, exactly the date when it was released, so we were pretty quick. Um, and over there, uh, I was talking about all the details of the box and so on, so you can take a look, uh, a closer look um, uh, at all the details of the box and uh, what's so fancy about it. Today we're just simply smoking the year of the tiger and talking about the taste, how it is, how it feels, and so on and so on. Um, a few number and facts uh, in advance. It's a Pyramides and it has a ring gauge of 52 and is exactly 5 inches long. Taking that into account, and I think I already spoke about it in the in the in the unboxing, um, 39 euros per stick. So a box of 10, that's 390 euros for the smallest cigar that Davidoff ever made in one of the Zodiac series. Phew. Um. I don't know what I, what I can say about it. The, fun, the funny thing is, uh, I was checking here in uh, where I'm recording, that's a Devil of Flagship store, that, and they told me that's one of the fastest, that's one of the Zodiac editions that, uh, that were like the fastest when it comes to selling the things out, you know? It's like so loud. Over here in that flagship store, and you only have three in Germany, uh, not even a single year of the Tiger available. And if you're looking online, nowhere, you know. Um, they're getting a little bit more, I think, in, in probably before Christmas. But so people, it seems that people don't care about the price, right? Uh, and I bought it too. So I have absolutely no right to complain about it. Let's cut that bad boy. Just talking a little bit about the, the wrapper, which is in Ecuadorian Connecticut. Also the first time that uh, Davidoff used an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper uh, for a Zodiac series. So uh, it's in, in a couple of ways it's a unicorn. Uh, and the stripes here, they are made through a, through a new process where they're taking the veins out of darker um, tobacco uh, leaves. Uh, and they wrapping it around the wrapper, they're pressing it and they store it like for 48 hours and then they're taking it out again and that's how the, these, these stripes are made. And you find the same pattern, that stripes pattern over here in the, on the band, on the second band. And you can find also that, that stripe pattern uh, on the box um, and it's, it's like everywhere, you know, and that's what they're doing really good. Um, like that corporate identity thing, you know, for one product. That, that, that's, they're really smart when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Nutty, earthy. Crass. Uh, usually I plan to do the uh, let's get it started first before I keep on talking. God damn it. Thank you. 
Originally I planned to do the review of the Tiger. Like by the time we're recording it, it's Friday. I planned it for Tuesday, Wednesday. But then, uh, maybe you can hear it on my voice. It's like sounding a little bit strange. Uh, I had a cold. Like two days I was just in bed and was feeling terrible. Um, this way, uh, greetings to uh, Sicky Boy, uh, Daniel Ravenelli over at the 505. <laughs> he was sick too. <laughs> uh, welcome to the team. Um, so, and after the first day, I was feeling better already. But you know, all the all the like the taste was not completely gone, but not very sharp. You know, and I thought, well, not wasting the year of the tiger when I'm not feeling so good. So I was waiting two more days, <clears throat> and I tried yesterday a couple of cigars, and it was working very good. So I said, let's go. So I already said Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper rest is um, uh, binder and fillers Dominican Republic, uh, Piloto, Seco and, and so on. Um, the start is interesting, very unusual for, for Davidov. Very heavy earth tones. Together with, I had it in the cold draw, that, that nutty, but it's more like, it's more like almonds. No crest at all that I had in a, on, on the, uh, while smelling on it. And that's one of the unique, typical Davidoff flavors, that hay grassy thing. I always can, not, or not always, but very often can find that in Davidoff cigars. Um, but not here. Draws on point. Heavy, rich smoke. Smoke output is, is super good. You know, for me, it's hard. I had, I was looking at the cigar, especially at the size, and I thought about the David of Year of the Ox, um, which was a Gordo size, you know, and I thought, man, what's up? It's now more expensive, they make it smaller. The cigar has to be super good in order to compete against the Year of the Ox, which was a super good, really a fantastic cigar. But, The start is fantastic. Don't know what to say. It's just, I'm looking for a point where I'm not like satisfied at the moment, uh, taste-wise, aroma-wise, construction-wise, but there's nothing. give it a while, see how it develops. Um, the start is promising, but let's see.
Jesus Christ, is that a good cigar? Holy shit. <laughs> it's, I don't want to say it's a surprise, because as you know, I'm smoking a lot of Davidoffs and I'm a big fan of the brand and rarely getting disappointed. Um, but this one, wow. Uh, it's very untypical for a Davidoff really and that's 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 a that's a real surprise i think you have still have this heavy earth tones and if you retrohale it only in the retrohale you have a little bit of black pepper only in the retro if you just puff it regularly, nothing. Retro, you have black pepper. So that's the fantastic thing about this cigar. Uh, earth tones, um, a little bit of nut, that almond thing. Not sure, almond, hazelnut, somewhere in between over there. Very creamy, buttery, uh, no hay, no grass, that Davidoff typical thing, not there. Um, not, not even, I'm not even sure if I can compare it to any other cigar right now because it's, it's, it's outstanding in, in the aroma, really. The only, the, only, the only complaint is really the, let's say, the price performance ratio, right? I, I was talking about that 39 euros, I mean that's around 42 dollars or something for Pyramides that has, is 5 inches long and with a ring gauge of 50, uh, 52. It's, they, they, they were pushing it a little bit too far over here. Uh, but it is a very, very good cigar um, with an extraordinary aroma profile. Mm. Is it worth the price? Guys, you have to judge for yourself. I don't know. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm willing to pay for it, uh, but 39, 39 bucks, I don't know. Uh, as I said, Especially if you compare it to like the Year of the Ox or other Davidoff cigars that are also outstanding good, uh, which have a lot and they have a lot of more tobacco in it, you know. Uh, but some things just have they some things have their price, right? And you have to judge for yourself if you're willing to pay it or not. So, <clears throat> but if you want to smoke a really good cigar, maybe at the end of the year, like for Christmas or New Year's Eve or whatever, think about the Year of the Tiger. I love it. Guys, don't know what else to say. I'm um, enjoying like the, the last third of the cigar um, and uh, just enjoying it. Guys, uh, uh, stay tuned because next week is coming my, uh, like my top cigars for 2021. You don't want to miss that. I hope. <laughs> Other than that, I hope you can enjoy a good cigar, enjoy life. Most importantly, stay safe and stay healthy. And I hope to see you around at Smokers Bar. Cheers.